I believe it was one of your CDs in which that I found the scripture where a priest began to make a mark on the wall as to where they hid the Ark of the Covenant. But they were told not to continue, and so a part of the mark was found, but not all of it. I would love to know that scripture reference again if I have my facts correct. Ah, okay. Well, this is something that you're not going to find in your modern King James Version of the Bible, but you are going to find it uh, in the original 1611 King James Version of the Bible because it's the book of Maccabees. It uh, once cared a fine of $50,000 if the Bible in English was published without the book of Maccabees, but it was taken out in 1825 by the American and British Bible Societies. And mm -hmm. it is in 2 Maccabees chapter 2, verses 2 and following, uh, and, and I'm, I'm going to uh, paraphrase it because I, I don't have the whole book of Maccabees memorized yet. Um, <laughs> uh, Jeremiah and several of the faithful priests were instructed in a vision to take the Ark of the Covenant from where it was in the Holy of Holies and to hide it away in a cave. And it says that, that one of the priests began mark, making a marking in the cave to show the way back so that they could find their way back to where the Ark of the Covenant was. And of course, it was taken out from Mount Moriah, down through the cave system, through the city, uh, underneath the city, and uh, through what is now Zedekiah's caves, okay? And the, the priest uh, who was making a mark in the cave, Jeremiah came back and said, stop doing this. The Ark of the Covenant must remain in this secret place until the last days, when the cloud of glory will be seen above the mercy seat as it was in the days of Solomon and is in the days of Moses. And so the priest was rebuked. He quit uh, making the, the marking in the cave. Well, it was a, uh, a French explorer back in the 1800s who was in that cave, and he found a half-carved, a half-carved, uh, image of a guarding cherub. And that was chiseled off the wall and is now sitting in the British uh, uh, Palestine Exploration Fund of the British Royal Museum. And this is uh, detailed in, let's see, I've got, uh, here it is, The Great Secret of Solomon's Temple. This is where I talk about it, and this is where the Ark of the Covenant is. And as the chief rabbi in the land of Israel, the chief rabbi of Israel said before his death that the Ark of the Covenant was not lost, it was hidden deliberately. It, it was hidden in Mount Moriah, he had been in the chamber, and he had seen the Ark of the Covenant. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the details of where the Ark was because this has to do with the confirmation of the covenant spoken by the angel to the prophet Daniel. This is very important that you understand this. This is prophecy for the last days. The Ark of the Covenant is to do with the revealing of the Ark in the last days and the confirmation of the covenant when Israel's eyes are opened. Blindness and pardon happened to Israel. So read the entire book of Maccabees. Yep, that's where you need to get the, the rest of it. I have the book of Maccabees at home uh, in uh, the Jerusalem Bible. It's an older Bible from the mm -hmm. 70s, early 80s. That's right. It's in there. Well, we yeah. carry in our bookstore just the, uh, the, oh, the Apocrypha, Apocrypha itself okay. from the 1611 King James Version of the Bible. All right. So uh, it's available.